Here's how I haul groceries on my bicycle. This is a quick look at the solution I've come up with. These are bushwhacker bags on an Axiom rack. So I'll go through it all and show you just how they work and how much they weigh and just give you a good look at it. The bushwhacker bag is designed to be the same footprint as a paper grocery bag with an open top. So you can really fit a lot of stuff on your bike. And that's what they look like when they're unfolded. So to start out, I bought this Axiom aerodynamic rack. So I didn't really plan to put anything on top of the rack. So this rack is sort of aerodynamically uh, matching the shape of the bike and it's a little bit smaller than a standard rack and then if you look down at the bottom you can see that the mounting bracket is offset this is designed for bikes with disc brakes but I thought it'd be nice to have it move a little further back than a normal rack just to, to get the groceries back further away from my feet and it's got bars there to keep the groceries from pushing into the wheel as well it says that it can hold uh, 50 kilograms so 110 pound weight limit and you can see how it's bent to match this shape of my beautiful bird bike. So I like that as well. It really looks like it was made for it rather than some old clunky, you know, $20 rack. This, this one was just a little over $50. The only issue I'm going to have is my taillight isn't real visible anymore. So I'm going to have to put something on the back if I want to ride at night. And the Axiom rack has a few different ways to mount it. You can see I've got those adjustable rods that it's mounted to the, uh, the lugs on the bike. But if you don't have those lugs on your bike, you can use that center mount with this metal piece to mount it where a caliper brake would mount. And then down at the bottom, they've got this extender thingy and it's designed to actually work with skewers. So if you have a bike with no, uh, no mounting holes in it, you can actually mount that thing on the wheel skewer as well on a bike with skewered wheels. And I also thought about flipping it upside down to lower the rack, but I kind of like having it up high because I can fit my tool bag under it behind the uh, grocery bags. And then I've got all my tools and my tire pump in there in case I need them. And then this is what it looks like with the Bushwhacker bags on it. So they fold up like that. So they're very slim and aerodynamic when we're not using them. And then if we wanna use them, we can just unsnap them and pop them open. And then you snap the little retaining straps out of the way on the snaps on the side. And if you want either one of these things, I will put a links in the description for you. And there you go. That's what it looks like when it's unfolded. Plenty big. And it's got a hard back on it and a hard bottom on it. And then there's this metal rod that goes through it as well to give it some structure. So this isn't just a bag on a bike. This has got a lot of structure to it that gives it some strength so you can really haul some heavy stuff with it versus you know some of the cheaper bags. You wouldn't get that kind of construction. And about eight and a half inches wide. 14 plus inches long and then 10 and a half inches deep. And then to look at the back of the bag, you can see it's got two hooks on top that hook onto the luggage rack. That's what holds the weight of it. And then there's this bungee cord clip system that you use to clip it onto the rack. And there's also a hook on the bottom of that bungee cord that you can hook to the rack to hold it down so it doesn't jump off when you hit a bump. I found that I had to use a, a loop made out of parachute cord to get it to clip onto this rack. It didn't stretch enough, so I just put a loop in there to hold it in place. That's what it looks like from the back. So it's not quick release, but it's easy enough to take off if you don't want to have it on your bike all the time. Uh, just over 1,800 grams, and that is four pounds is how much the bags weigh. And then you're looking at one pound, nine ounces for the bike rack. So you're adding probably six pounds to your bike if you put this setup on it, which isn't too terrible. And then these are size 13 jumbo clown feet with the bags in place, hauling a load back from the store. So I'm very happy with it. These work great. I like it that I can fold them up when they're not in use and that they're pretty easy to take off if I ever feel like taking them off.